What's up, y'all? It's Court, half of the Wellness Wives. I'm coming to y'all with my first ever vlog on YouTube. I've been studying YouTube and the algorithms for months. And what I realized is that if I don't actually start creating videos, I may never start creating videos, if that makes sense, because I'm going to just be studying, watching, studying, watching, and studying, and watching. So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm from Houston, born and raised, and um, I have not adjusted to this crazy weather. I can't lie. Like, I don't remember it being like this when I grew up. And I don't know when it started to become like this, but I do think that something is going on. But we'll get into that later. About a month ago, my wife and I were a part of my sister's wedding. Um, I had the pleasure of walking her down the aisle. My lovely wife, Ash, was a bridesmaid and we had a time. So I was like, we actually need to plan a trip back to Dallas where we can indulge in a few things. I love the WNBA. Dallas has a team, the Dallas Wings. And I was like, hmm, maybe we could do a swing. We could do the WNBA game and we could do Six Flags because I'm a big kid. They took Astro and left us with nothing. I'm like, I would love to go to Six Flags just to like pretend like me and Ashley were meeting up as high schoolers, you know, sneaking around because that's some things we used to do, but don't tell my mom. We had this whole road trip planned out. I actually bought tickets to the WNBA game right before the draft. I'm like, let me get these tickets before the tickets go crazy. And sure enough, the tickets went crazy, but I had already secured our spot. So I wasn't tripping. Houston, however, said, not on my watch. Literally the day before we supposed to, you know, mosey on up down the highway, a tornado comes completely knocks out our power that night and we just looking like are we gonna go or are we not gonna go so y'all know what we based it on whether or not saints boarding place was open we said we gonna call them at eight in the morning if they open and say they still taking the reservation we leaving and we gonna leave it up to chance whatever happens after that so sure enough we wake up in the morning no power drop saint off hit the highway i'm gonna take y'all with me for this weekend because it was way too lit one thing's for sure, when Houston get too crazy, I'm going to put some gas in this car. I'm going to do what I was going to do anyway before it decided that it wanted to get crazy. <laughs> to our destination the festivities are about to begin it's gonna be a litty ass weekend all weekend okay. i'm taking y'all with me i realized that I, I gotta get out my own way you know what i'm saying sometimes i feel like i'm in my own way just saying like i'm not this type of person become that type of person you want to do that become it you know what i'm saying like simple it's that simple you want to do something do it you need something done learn how to do it until you find people that you know can help you on your journey and that's something that so I different day I'll be bored out my mind hometown of my place but while I'm in we had six last week in Dallas we're about to ride all the rides Ash, I'm here for the vibe I'm here for the snacks have a good time he's here for the sun and the fun the sun and the fun Alright. <laughs> <laughs> this one you know. I gotta go find This one you know you're open. an adult. <laughs> when you got the map and shit. Oh yeah, you gotta be smart. <laughs> you gotta what be are we smart. doing here? Here we are at Six Flags in the midst of a freaking citywide power outage in Houston. And we had a great time. I'm not even going to lie. Because Ashley don't ride. No rides. Like, she's not a thrill seeker. She's not trying to get her thrills that way at all. So, me, I was literally, like, tingling just being able to ride everything. I think about the ebbs and flows in life. 
and how much they mirror roller coasters. So it brought back this memory of my mom when I first ever rode a roller coaster. She said, this is how you ride a roller coaster. Front row, eyes open, hands up. Front row, that means you can't take a back seat. When things are going crazy, you literally can't run from them. You have to face them head on. Eyes open. You can't act like these things are not happening to you. You can't avoid these things. You have to pay attention to everything. Yeah. Mm hmm 10 out of 10, for sure. For sure, for sure. Hands up. So I was thinking about this and I was like, hands up feels like a surrender. You're going through something hard. You have to surrender everything to the problem. Like start overthinking it. You will drive yourself crazy. You will become overwhelmed and that might flare up in your anxiety. It might increase depression in you. Like these are things that you are experiencing that are not going to be forever. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Cause a roller coaster is like the ebbs and flows of life. Here, this is the best ride here. Oh my God. I don't even know where Ash is at, y'all. <sighs> it wore me out. <laughs> it wore me out. I, I gotta get this for my baby. For Saint? Yeah. <laughs> you better win something for your son. Cause I ain't thinking about his ass. All right, dancing down the stairs. People don't, don't even know their reference. Bananas in pajamas are coming down the stairs. That, I don't know who that is. You look so pretty. Thank you. You really look like Whitney right now. <laughs> They work for me. They work. I'm pretty. Let's see. Hey, wind yeah. it up, baby. All right, all right. Wind it up, man. Wind it up. Let's see. Okay. Let's see them wind up. All right. Oh, that's one. Aim at that bottom. Oh, all right, baby. I yeah, I was gonna see. I was really supposed to be in the lead. Y'all gonna see. Let's go. Oh, oh. Take it. Hey! Oh. Right, get. I'm sweating. Sweating Bro, down. what kind of day did you have at Six Flags? A winning day? That's what okay. kind of day. <laughs> yeah. A winning day. A winning day. I play with her. Now right, we had fun. I play with you. This was great. So much fun. We needed that. A break. Definitely. A break. Can we get a break? Absolutely. The girls can get a break. Period. One thing about Ash, she gonna be chill. Man, she's catching the vibe. Big chilling. All I need is my wife. She ain't doing no tripping. I'm finna go with some wine. Yes. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> so, here we are finding joy in the midst of chaos. But I realized that if you don't be intentional about your joy, then anything can knock you off your course. The sky we found the neighborhood. Right Out here. Thanks to my very straight sister. No, baby, you keep walking. I just, I do this. Today, my little sister invited us to brunch. Now, this wasn't a regular brunch. We did brunch at Hamburger Mary's, which is a place that does drag shows. And it was literally in the middle of the neighborhood. You always know the neighborhood by the rainbow, <laughs> the rainbow crosswalks. My wife was like, your sister really is an ally. And I'm like, yeah, she really ain't got a choice. Because I'm saying, like, I'm her only sister. What's she going to And I'm cool as fuck. Like, be for real. And I asked her while we was hanging out, like, what makes you so comfortable partying with queer folks? Like, why are you so, like, adaptable? Because she really is. And she said she feels safe around us. Hanging out with her just heals a little bit piece of me every time because it's joy that's something that you literally have to choose every day it's choosing peace is an option and choosing anger is an option choosing joy is an option too and i'm very intentional about that so i just try to do as many things that bring me joy while i'm imagine stars lighting up the night and a shadow
shooting star so vibrant you have to make a wish so we at the bar we hanging out and i'm looking around i'm like okay they support all the sports team but where are the wings where are the Dallas Wings logo? Did not see it, so I had to go see it in person. On to the next one. We go on to move on when you always regret one. She got this shit on. Y'all know what it is. The flies, why? The fly. The fly. <laughs> I was so glad to see the women of the W just getting the love and support. The game was literally sold out, okay? So seeing them get the love and support and also getting to watch Angel Reese ball out amongst the pros. And I was so happy for Chicago. I ain't gonna lie. I went to watch Dallas, but I was really there for Chicago. The game, I literally was seated next to one of the players on Chicago's uh, team, mom. Now, I didn't know this was her mom. Like, we was literally just chopping it up. And then finally she said, you know, number such and such is mine. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. It's this clip of this. Let me see if I can find the clip. Hold on. Take all five. I saw that clip and I literally was telling Ashley how like that was my mom, bro. I was like, she used to be in the stands cheering all out, screaming, come on 32, 32, what you doing 32? Pass the ball 32, oh, you're supposed to shoot 32. You gotta make one of these, Court. I'm out. Just doing all that in the stands and I used to be so embarrassed. I was literally just telling Ashley that like, I used to be like, ah, my mama here. I thought it was so cool that I just shared that story and I got to sit next to somebody's mom who was actually cheering them on in life. And that player, she actually was like, you know, cut from a team, all type of things. So she went through a whole lot of things. And then to see her actually defending the best player on Dallas, getting stops, she was hitting three. She was hitting them close a 10 point gap. They eventually took the lead. Just to see that like your lowest moments don't define you. Like there's so many good things waiting to happen. Literally can bounce back from anything. Here's to finding joy in the midst of chaos. Past four years, we've been balancing hard things while actually having like some of the best years of our life at the same time. Hope y'all like this vlog. Make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube. I'm Court, half of the Wellness Wives. You can find me on Instagram at Court Wrote It, on Threads, Court Wrote It. If y'all like this vlog, give us a thumbs up. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. All right, till next time, peace.